Hello everyone, welcome to the SharePoint Online tutorial. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will learn about the SharePoint Online Sites and Site Activity web part. These are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. What is SharePoint Online Sites and Site Activity web part and how we can configure the Sites and Site Activity web part in our modern SharePoint site page and what are the different layouts presented in the site web parts. So what is SharePoint Online Sites web part? We use SharePoint Online Sites web part to display the sites dynamically. Either we can select it from the frequent site or from the recent sites for their current users. And we also have an option to select a specific site to display it in the sites web part in our modern SharePoint site page. The maximum number of sites that we can display on the sites web part is 99. If we select any sites that is presented in the site web part, it will be redirected or navigated to the selected site page. Once we add the site web parts to the modern SharePoint site page, this is how it looks like where we can see two options. One is content and the other one is layout. Now I will show you how we can add the site web part as well as the site activity web part to our modern SharePoint site page. Initially log in to the Microsoft Office home page, open the SharePoint application and select the site page where you want to add the sites web part. In this example I have selected the communication site page. Click on the edit icon and select the section layout as one column section and search for the sites web part here. You can see the web part has been added. Now to configure it click on the add icon over here so that we can able to see the sites properties pan where we can select the content which means the site either we can select the free or the recent sites under the content section. Here I have selected these three sites. You can see the site has been added to the sites web part. We also can select sites from the recent sites. Once the sites has been selected, we can see the site count and the selected sites are coming under the site selected section. This is how we can select the content or sites that we want to display it in the site web part. Now expand the layout section to choose the layout for the sites web part. By default, it will be in the film strip layout. We can see here there are three different layouts presented in this section. The first one is film strip layout. The second one is grid layout and the third one is compact layout. If you want to hide this web part, if there is nothing to show, in that case we can select this web part. If not, we can uncheck this check icon over there. Here you can see the grid layout looks like this and the compact layout looks like this. By default it is film strip so in this example also I am going to choose the film strip layout. Now click on the republish icon so that the changes will be saved in our modern SharePoint site page. Here you can see the sites has been displayed in the sites web part. If you want to reorder or change the sites we have to edit the site web part and change it accordingly. Edit the site web part and choose the order accordingly. In which order if you want to choose we can select in that order basis. To save the changes click on the republish icon. Here you can see the order has been changed. So this is how we can work with site web part where we can select the content as a site either from the frequent site or from the recent site and we can choose the layout that we want to display it in our modern SharePoint site page. So this is how we can work with sites web part. Now I will show you how to work with site activity web part. In the same way click on the edit icon over there. Choose this sections and search for site activity. Here you can see the site activity web part. Click on that. Here you can see it dis displays data from the site pages like when this list has been created, when the image has been edited. These things to track out the site activity we use site activity web part like when the document has been created, viewed and edited etc. When we edit the site activity web part we can see how many items at a time the web part has to be displayed. We can control it. If I give 20 it changes accordingly. If I give only 10 it displays 10 items only in the site activity web part. We can choose this see all option to view all the activities from selected SharePoint site page. So this is how we can work with site activity web part and the site web parts. Once the changes has been done, click on the republish icon so that it will be reflected in the SharePoint site page. With this we came to the end of this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.